Well, well, I finally did it. Um, <laughs> I, my wife, uh, rides an F750 GS. When I first bought this GS Adventure, my wife wasn't a rider yet. And after about six months, she said, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm going to drive my own bike. So I, uh, have done a couple of changes. First of all, I have removed the top box. I never need it. I, I don't carry enough stuff now to warrant a top box. So it's somewhere, there it is right there from the John Deere. Also, um, I have changed to a smaller rear spring. Again, don't need all that weight. So I've, um, <laughs> sorry, honey, all that weight, meaning you. <laughs> so I have gone to a smaller spring <clears throat> and uh, cause I was noticing that I wasn't able to, the, the, the preload range was off. And I also have um, gotten rid of my rear seat, which again, was, a, it was, an expensive, was an expensive purchase. It was the, I can't find it right now, but it was the Sergeant seat, pillion Sergeant seat that matches the front one. It's a nice little red stripe, it's heated, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, as you many of you know, when I was camping and doing more um, long distance stuff before Heather started riding on the back of my bike, I had a uh, rear pad from Altrider. I sold that and sold it for the sergeant seat. But things have gotten expensive, guys. And, you know, Altrider, I think Altrider gives me a discount. I can't remember. Maybe it's 25% off or something. But, you know, U.S. Steel, made in America, it's expensive. And so I looked at what's out there right now for the GS. Wish I'd kept that old part because I bought it for about 200 I think it's 300 now for a pillion seat cover. And uh, and I just, I got a kid now, so I can't buy all expensive stuff anymore. So uh, I bought from AliExpress from the famed Kenny Moto, which is a ripoff of a Touratec seat. These are, some people hate these because they they use the pillion seat and people are afraid they're going to like break this latch here. It's, it's expensive to replace. It's like 200 bucks in parts. I've broken it before and had to replace it. So I understand where that's coming from. But um, I want to have space behind me for a dry bag uh, for long distance trips uh, where the water will go back there. So water there, dry bag there. And so I wanted to get this. This was like 25 bucks and that included free shipping from China. So, you know, I mean, sorry, but I don't think Touratech or Altrider care that I'm, uh, or Wonderlick or any of those other companies care that I'm buying stuff for now, a 10 year old platform on, uh, on Chinese eBay. So um, here you got some hooks. Some of the, um, so I will say, uh, Altrider and Touratech, their hooks actually go all the way around and form a full rectangle. So there's two attachment points. This just has the, the one, and it's just, yeah, it's just welded in there. And as far as engraving goes, look like you've got a Rotopax pattern and a couple other patterns, and you've got some uh, things on the side here. Let's see if it fits. So we're going to take it. We're going to put it in the rear position. Let's see if that works. The one in the front position. I think it's rear position. Uh, no, they want it in, oh, there we go, your, your position. So now it's there. And then this is now over that hole there. Push that down. And it's in. It actually might rattle a little bit. <laughs> it might rattle a little bit on the road. Um, so that's a problem. But $25, you get what you pay for. Um, but if I put the front seat on, which I don't even know where that is right now. Where's my front seat? Has anyone seen a front seat for a GS around here somewhere? Uh, let me know in the comments. <laughs> if you see a front seat for an R1200 GS adventure. But my assumption is that that front seat is going to, um, when it lays flat, it's going to push a little bit down here and keep that down. Also, <clears throat> I'm going to try the front position as well and see if the front position uh, right here will, um, will cause less rattling and that could just be my broken uh pillion seat cover back here the plastic cover that's the problem but um not much going on here all it's doing is protecting your wires some people in the past videos have commented that um these things are a bad idea because water gets down in that hole underneath there and can damage your electronics bmw thought about that as well because water does get in there no matter what you're running even if it's an oem seat and underneath there are some drain holes. Down here on each side, there are some drain holes at the very bottom of that rear subframe cover, plastic cover. BMW's wires are in there. BMW put seats on there. It gets dirty, it gets dusty, it gets wet, and the water drains right at the bottom. And so BMW thought of that. And so don't worry about it. I mean, obviously when you're wiring new electronics, like my rear dash cam, don't, um, you know, don't use exposed wires. You should wrap them up in some kind of a waterproof material. Where's my seat? <laughs> I gotta find my seat, guys. If you see my seat, let me know. If you if you if you've been at a rally and you've seen a a red sergeant seat for a GS, 
Um, but th- the truth is, I had this, there it is, I had this bike apart for three months now. And so, uh, yeah, it's got my name on it. It's mine. <laughs> let's, let's see how this looks with, the, uh, with my seat on there in the high position. No. So with that there, a lot of space there. So let's actually pause for a second. I'm going to put it in the front position and see how that does. It's even worse. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is, maybe I could tighten this down a little bit. Let's try that. No, that didn't work at all. So <laughs> uh, $25 for, versus 200 and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some um, um, some sound deadening, thicker material here, some foam stuff that will just keep it from rattling. And uh, rattles drive me crazy. If I'm in a car and there's a little bit of a rattle somewhere, like an AC vent is a little loose and a clip is loose, I will tear the whole dashboard of a car apart in order to get that, that sound out. And so this is going to drive me crazy, even when I'm riding with ear protection. So I'm going to put some, um, some foam there, stick some foam on there, and that should uh, eliminate the problem. But it does work, it does fit. It works front and rear. It's actually louder in the front position than the rear position. And then you have this big gap here. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just keep the pillion seat. I mean, it does give you a little bit more space to put a, I would say like a, a 20 liter Moscow Stinger dry bag, Stinger 22. So you look at the Stinger 22 and remember the fact that it's gonna be uh, folded from here up what can happen, you can put a 22 liter right behind you and then you can strap it to these two straps here. <laughs> and then, uh, and then you, it'll fill up from this point to that point perfectly. And you have a little tiny backrest for yourself. And then this is open for your rotopacks. And if you were insane, you can then put another 500 liter bag on top of the stinger and on top of the rotopacks, uh, and then have no side luggage at all. Certainly an option, not something I would recommend, but yeah, so this fills up that hole perfectly with that there. If it was a pillion seat there, it would be a little higher right there. I will add, to give one more thing for people that are thinking about doing this. A pillion seat does have a natural lip to it, which can be kind of nice on your back. So on days that you're riding around without anything behind you, then you might actually like having that little bit of lip from the rear seat on you. Personal preference, I'm going to give this a shot with a couple of camping trips in the future and see how it goes. But for now, thanks for watching and you get what you pay for, but I'm broke. So that's what we can afford right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.